Hey kiddos, it's Riley here, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about involuntary age regression versus voluntary age regression. I feel like some of you definitely know the difference between the two, but I feel like there are others of you who may not, and you may be both an involuntary regressor and a voluntary regressor, or one or the other. So here is just a little bit of information on two main types of age regression. The two main types of regression are voluntary and involuntary. Being an involuntary regressor means that somebody doesn't choose if or when or how they regress. They usually can't control when it happens or where it happens or how long it lasts. This type of age regression usually stems from trauma or mental illness, but not always. Involuntary regression can happen whether or not the regressor wants to actually regress, so it can be very wrong place, very wrong time, and still happen. It generally happens as a defense mechanism to a situation that may be potentially dangerous or triggering, or it can happen because of a positive or a negative trigger. Whereas voluntary is basically the opposite end. Somebody who is a voluntary regressor can choose if, when, how, and how long they regress. A lot of voluntary age regressors use age to manage stress or for fun, but again, that's not always the case. That's just what's most common. You can be both a voluntary and an involuntary regressor. I am both, but personally I am mostly involuntary, and so what that basically means is that my regression kind of just happens. It's not like, oh, I'm gonna regress tonight and then I can regress that night. It's more of a headspace that my brain just gets itself into and it's not something I can always choose to do. In fact, I only choose to regress very, very rarely. My regression is something that just happens naturally for me and that's okay if it's for you too and that's also okay if that's not the case for you. Every regressor is different. My last video was on impure age regression and impure age regression is almost completely involuntary. If you want more info on that, I suggest just going and checking out that video, it'll be linked in the description. But so, long story short, voluntary regressors can choose to regress, and involuntary regressors can't choose to regress. But again, everybody's different, it depends on the situation. People can be both, people can be mainly one or mainly the other, or just one or just the other. Either way, your age rate is 100% okay, safe, and valid. That's about it for today, I just wanted to touch on the differences between involuntary and voluntary age regression for those of you who might not have known. If you want to see more videos pertaining to age regression from me, you can subscribe to this channel because the intention is to post about three times a week from here on out. And if you want to see even more content from me, I have a main channel and a vlog channel, both of which are linked down in the description if you want to check those out. To keep up with me day to day in between uploads, you can follow me on Instagram, which is at crayons and pencils, or over on Twitter, which is at crayon kiddo. I love you guys so much, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.